sad day, burying my friend Albert today. Dropping like flies here now, all my old comrades. So I'm off to funeral at local cemetery. Though knowing my luck, something will probably go tragically wrong. You've buried the wrong bloke. It's my house that you were supposed to be burying. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ed Winchester. The question surely is, is there enough news to actually justify a role in news service? The question that always bothers me is how one actually defines news. I mean, the yes. tabloids seem to treat any old bit of showbiz gossip as front-page headline news, whereas war only merits a tiny mention on, on, on page 10. That's yes, true. news is becoming just another branch of light entertainment. Mm, mm. Ah. Hey, you know those silly bits at the end of the news? Oh, mm. yeah. Mm. You know, about dogs and cats and that getting stuck up a tree. Yeah. Yeah. They really cheer you up, don't they? They really make me laugh. <laughs> Can anybody remember where I put me coat? <laughs> Look, Cheryl, I'm sorry, love, but I'm going to be late again tonight. You bastard, you promised. <laughs> That's the third time this week. Don't do it, my mother told me. Don't be a copper's wife, but I told myself I could cope. Cope with the pressure, the anxiety, never being able to make any plans. <laughs> sleepless nights, waiting for the phone call to say you've been maimed or killed or, or worse. Well, I won't be all right. The lads are about to make a breakthrough. Oh, the lad. The bloody lad. 